Hey loves, it's Brianna K. Welcome to today's video. I just took some time to try to process just everything that's been going on. Um, this is the week of my dad's passing and obviously Father's Day is right around the corner too. So I think that's why I'm like extra <laughs> emotional on top of being pregnant. And I'm honestly just like sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. <laughs> Not the way I wanted to start this video. <sighs> I just, my list has gotten out of control and I feel like I just need to do something about it because I know at least that will make me feel a little bit better. Because, I don't know, I think at some point you just have to come to the realization of the pain's going to be there, like it's not going away. So... I'm going to try to pull it together. I have so much laundry I need to do. I actually have some already in the washer and dryer. And I have to make with the kids. There's a little Father's Day craft that I wanted to do for Adam. So it's a great like last minute idea for you guys. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm crying. I did not want to cry today. But maybe this weekend it's really hard for you too and just this month I think has been hard for so many reasons like all of the Black Lives Matter stuff has been on my brain and just like heavy on my heart. I think I'm also going a little bit stir crazy too but I just I need to get going here so let's go let's get started and just don't feel alone I guess is what I want you to feel like if you're feeling this way too that's why I'm here, that's why I try to make these videos because I know we've all got crap. Like we've all got stuff that's painful, that's hard. And it can be really hard when you're feeling that to have motivation to want to do anything. And it's, I don't know, it's like I want to help you get through whatever you're going through and in return like you're helping me do the same because you are giving me a purpose when I make these videos. So well, I just wrote out my to-do list for today. So I'm going to do the Father's Day craft. I'll be doing laundry all day. I want to tidy the kids' rooms. I have some Mercari stuff I need to ship out. I need to plan outfits for pictures, which is why I really need to do the laundry because I think there might be some stuff in there that needs to get washed. And then I have my meal plan printable here too. Both of these printables, by the way, you can get for free. If you go to bitsofbrieco.com, you can download them and use them. Um, but I need to place a grocery order today too. We're like out of white milk right now, so I need to place that fast. And then Landon's actually been reading, so I need to do a little bit of reading time with him today. So that is what's on the agenda for me today in this Get It All Done With Me video. But just let me know how you're doing in the comments. I feel like, I don't know, I just want to check in with everyone. I've been trying to bend loose since I barely was walking. I've been trying out to run my life because I need to be perfect. If I could just be a little bit.
kids rooms at least are tidied and there's a dent in the laundry i just checked it off of my list here and it does make me feel a little bit better but i still i don't know i feel like i'm having like the anxiety like heart palpitations again like it just feels like I'm having like a mental breakdown. I'm not gonna lie, like I think this is like the worst day I've had since quarantine and since everything. And like, I don't know. I just hope you know if like you're feeling this way too. You're not alone, but like, I just, I hate feeling this way. It is literally like the worst feeling in the world. I have a couple things I need to get in the mail for Mercari, but if you sell anything, whether it's like Mercari or, oh, what's the other site I've used? I'm drawing a blank, Pregnancy Brain. I love these mailers. You can get them on Amazon. I use them for my Etsy shop too for clothing items, but it has like the little sticky label peel, but I love these. They make it so easy for shipping stuff out fast. Days without water along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you it's all for you, I did it all for you It's all for you, it's all for you It's all for you Nights without sleeping Cause you feel We have to find, I want you to look these, and I need a picture of your face No sunglasses, so that might be a good one if you land in um, that was kind of cute, you can see that thing. For two, and it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. She finished her. We can put it in the picture frame. So here's Presley's. Where did you go with Daddy? Where's this picture? It's for Daddy. It's for Daddy, but where did this picture picture take place? Right. See ya. Oh my gosh, I love it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at those guys. He is going to love this. That is so nice of both of you. Father's Day craft is done. I'm gonna continue doing laundry. And then later today I can do the outfits. And I think while the kids are napping, I'm gonna do the meal planning and grocery order. But I hope that little craft idea helps you if you're looking for something last minute. I feel like it's so cute like when you have your kids' artwork and Everybody obviously likes like a picture of them with the kids, so I thought that would just be a fun way for you to be able to do something at home <laughs> that's fast that's and easy on you too. I know I always appreciate toddler meals ideas because mine are so picky, but I get this Panera mac and cheese. They have it at our Target. And usually I just try to do some sort of a fruit and a veggie then with this for lunch. Um, so today it's blueberries and some sliced cucumber.
planned. I do have a Pinterest board. I want to try this creamy steak fettuccine actually on Friday. But if you want to follow me on Pinterest, I always pin, like I have this good mood food board, and I pin anything that I think looks good. It's where I just get a lot of meal planning ideas from. But I'm going to do burgers Sunday for Father's Day. Do a little cookout. Spaghetti squash Monday. Tacos Tuesday. Baked potatoes on Wednesday. Mexican lasagna on Thursday. That steak fettuccine. And then we'll do takeout on Saturday. We collide. We break down. When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we'll break up just to start all over Even though we know This is the hard way to better We can't be hard I just wanted to sit down and have a little chat because I clearly I'm very emotional I'm very hormonal and I have been crying at the drop of a hat today and that includes when I read some comments and normally it doesn't bother me I can like I don't know read them move on like take it for what it is I posted on YouTube just asking what type of content do you want to see on my channel because I always want to make videos that at the end of the day are helping you whether it is helping you to get cleaning motivation or just whatever you need to get through the hard days because just like my day today this day is hard and we all have those days no one's life is perfect it doesn't matter what you think is going on. There's something either behind the scenes or inside their head that you don't realize is happening. No one's life is perfect. Everybody has issues and hard stuff that they have to get through. And sometimes those hard seasons are just a lot more apparent, but no one's perfect. And I just saw some comments that I don't know, I, I just, I feel like I, I can't say the right thing about anything. And I just have to be myself. And so I just want to say to you, people are saying you should address all of the family vlogger drama. I don't want to be involved in family vlogger drama. Like, my channel has never been about drama or anything along those sorts. Like again, my channel is just because I wanna help you. I know one thing that a lot of people have been talking about recently, but if there's other family vlogger drama, I'm not aware of it. Like I'm not paying attention to it. That's not what I like to talk about. 
I don't know. And then people are saying stuff about once you're pregnant, all your content is about your pregnancy. You guys know, if you've paid attention, you know that I thought Prezi was my last baby. I wasn't even sure that we were going to be able to get pregnant with baby number three. And seeing my mom, like there's a reason why my sister and I are six years apart. Like my mom went through so many miscarriages and it's hard for me to address this because I get it. Like it's like really emotional and painful and it makes me cry for every person, whether you're struggling to conceive or whether, you know, you've had a miscarriage or all of it. Like anyone who's desperately praying for a child, like I hope that that happens for you. And more than anything, I hope that when you are pregnant that you get to be excited about it that you don't have people who get mad at you because you are pregnant or say mean things to you because you are pregnant. And sometimes I just think that people get on their keyboards and you don't think that the person on the other end, I don't know if you think that I'm not going to read it or that I'm not going to see it. Or you don't think that I have feelings. And this isn't just me. This is for anybody online. Like, I don't care if you make YouTube videos or not. Like I've seen just everyday people on Facebook who get ripped apart by somebody because of something they've said, you know? And it's just, I don't understand why people think it's okay to use your words to bring people down, to make people feel bad. Does that really make you feel better? And I just don't get it either because every day I see people with things I don't have that I wish I have. And I never once have thought, I'm gonna leave a really nasty comment or pick on them for something that I see as their flaw. Instead, I'm always just wondering, how did you get to that place? Like, was it that you worked really hard? Did you have a really good business idea? Or what is it about, you know, your relationship that like you have such a good, strong marriage? Like, there's always things that I see that I just wanna know. How did you get to that really good place? Like I would never attack someone and I just don't understand. I'm sorry, again, I'm super emotional. More emotional, I said it. Emotional <laughs> hormones, you know. Just I feel like between Corona and Black Lives Matter and I know that it's a time of like economic hardship, we can't be divided. Like we can't be mean to each other. That's not going to fix anything. It's just going to make everything harder in the long run like the only way you can get through a struggle is through community and support and you know i'm a spiritual person but i believe in the power of prayer so i say this in all my videos if you are struggling right now please put your prayer request in the comments you don't even just say what it's about you can just say here's my name please pray for me and you'll have a community of people who are going to try to use the power of prayer to help you but you can't attack other people and think that that's going to solve your problems. But okay, I think I'm get it all done with me out for today. Some days you try and you don't get it all done and that's okay. So <laughs> um, we can kind of end on a sweet note though here, literally because yesterday when I was having a much better day, I made, honestly, it's like one of the best desserts I've ever made. Adam and the kids agreed. It's so good. It's a s'mores lasagna, but I'll put that recipe at the end here. here. Um, I saw this delicious, it's called s'mores lasagna on Pinterest, s'mores lasagna. Like, there's actually a lot of ingredients to make this, but pregnant girl saw this on Pinterest, has to try it, so let's go. Okay, so here's all of the ingredients you need for this s'mores lasagna. You need a 13 by nine lasagna, tray and I'm gonna use then the ham cooking spray. You need some kind of cooking spray. And then you need Hershey's chocolate bars, Hershey's cocoa, two of the blocks of cream cheese, the eight ounce blocks. You will need chocolate fudge or like chocolate jello pudding. You'll need Hershey's hot fudge, milk chocolate chips, two sleeves of graham crackers, marshmallow fluff, you will need Cool Whip, and I got one of the bigger sized containers um, because you need a lot of Cool Whip. And then a package of the mini marshmallows, and you'll need milk, and I'm using chocolate milk. 
because that's what we have on hand for making the pudding. Okay, so I added in the two packages of the chocolate fudge jello, quarter cup of the Hershey's cocoa, and three and a half cups of milk, and mix this all together until it is blended into that creamy pudding texture, and pop this in the fridge until you're ready to make the lasagna layers. Okay, so to start this lasagna off, spray your cooking spray all over the pan. And then your first layer is going to be the graham crackers. And then your next layer is going to be the marshmallow cream cheese mixture. And then you're gonna add your mini marshmallows. And then you wanna add your chocolate pudding and then chocolate chips and then continue the same pattern. Now you wanna refrigerate this for two hours and we'll put on the actual toppings right before we serve it. Okay, so I just pulled this out of the fridge after being refrigerated and I popped my hot fudge into the microwave for about 20 seconds just so that it was extra, can you see it? Just so that it was like extra runny. And you just want to drizzle this over the top. Okay, so once your drizzle is on, I just crunched up some of the graham crackers in this little bag. And you just wanna sprinkle these evenly across the top. And I think it's great if you can have like all different size crumbs and ones that then are like a little bit bigger so you can tell a little more distinctly that they're graham crackers since this is a s'mores themed lasagna. And then I got the mini snack size Hershey bars and just broke them up so that they are in little pieces. And I'm also just gonna sprinkle these across the top. Finally, you wanna take your mini marshmallows and just do another sprinkle of those over the top. I cannot wait to eat this, guys. And I saw this in a comment recently and it was like, are you not following the Mediterranean diet now that you're pregnant? You know, me guys, clearly. <laughs> This is not Mediterranean diet. This is no diet approved. It is just really freaking good. So enjoy. And like everything in moderation, enjoy this. Eat healthy the rest of the week. Does it look good? Uh, Are you excited to eat it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like the black